One of Berkshire's biggest employers has announced 11,000 job cuts, almost one in 10 of its worldwide workforce. Vodafone has announced a fall in pre-tax profits. Its share price has been dropping and its new boss says its performance in certain markets hasn't been good enough. The telecoms firm, which has 12,000 staff in Britain, has its UK headquarters in Newbury. Michelle Cross reports. This site has been home to Vodafone's highly secure network operations and device testing facilities since 2002. But with several hundred UK jobs understood to be at risk, there's a real worry over its future here. It will be a blow to Newbury. There's a lot of people that work there. It will make Newbury a, a poorer place, basically, which is sad because it's a, it's a nice town. The shops rely on Vodafone. It's been massive for the whole town. The company's blaming a poor financial forecast. It follows pre-tax profits of £12.8 billion in the last year, lower than expected due to rising energy costs. And the customer side of the business also taking a hit, with fewer upgrading handsets amid the rising cost of living. This isn't the first time redundancies have impacted our region. In 2010, 400 jobs were affected when the company closed its centre in Adderbury in North Oxfordshire. The mobile giant is looking to create a leaner and simpler organisation and recently sold the campus here, leasing some of the buildings back. There's a great deal of unease um, across Berkshire about this decision. Um, people obviously are concerned about their own jobs. And there'll be suppliers and others who depend on both of them for their own businesses, people running SMEs and other, other services, who will be very concerned about it. And I hope the company can offer some reassurance um, to, to our local community about it. Our starting point as a trade union uh, will be to look to avoid those redundancies in terms of any vacancies that might exist within the company and any re redeployment opportunities. And then we will seek to ensure that no one is made compulsory redundant and that if there are to be reductions, that those reductions are achieved through voluntary means. Vodafone has confirmed no one has been formally put on notice of redundancy here in Newbury as a result of today's announcement. But what remains unclear is where those cuts will be made.